Hello there and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at a very common aquarium pest. Now if you have zoanthid corals and you're wondering why they never open properly or why they never open at all and they look a little bit like this one at the back here or they're semi-open like this one here then you may be suffering from this pest. Now there is a type of nudibranch called the aelid nudibranch and these are a nudibranch which can feed primarily on corals. In fact, here is one on the glass now. You can see this little critter here. That is an aelid nudibranch. And this little ring or semicircle here are its eggs. Now, these little nudibranchs love to feed on zoanthid corals. It is one of their most favoured diets. And in fact, their body is designed to represent and hide amongst the polyps of a zoa coral. They will, in fact, change colour based on which zoa they're living in. Now, the telltale sign to look for are closed zoas. So if you have a colony of zoas like this, then you can be fairly sure that as long as every other environmental need is met, this will probably be caused by the zoa eating nudie. Now, in this particular case, many of these zoa colonies are closed and there is a little bit of an infestation. Most of these colonies have nudibranchs living on them and we're gonna to need to treat the entirety of this tank. So what I use to treat for these zoa eating nudibranchs is fairly simple. I use RO water, that's at the same temperature as, or roughly the same temperature as the tank water, so the coral doesn't get temperature shock. Now RO water is primarily there just to kill the nudibranch itself. Nudibranchs don't like RO water and within five to 10 minutes of this bath, they tend to drop off and are dead. And secondly, I use a dose of malachite. So this is malachite green. Um, you can also, rather than using malachite, you can use Lugol solution, which is basically iodine, or any other specialized coral dip. Now the reason we use the coral dip, or the malachite, is to kill the nudibranch eggs, because they will have eggs on the colonies of zoas, and even if you kill the adults, the eggs will hatch, and you'll be back to square one. So we need to kill those eggs. So all I do with the malachite is I mix it up to the dose suggested on the bottle and I put it into the RO water. Obviously use the required PPE when handling these kind of chemicals. So there we go, so we just give the malachite green a little stir. And then we're ready to dip our zoa colonies. Another thing you're going to need is a container of either RO or just salt water and that's to wash the zoa colony afterwards because we don't want the malachite going into our main coral display. So this is one of the worst affected corals and all you really do is leave that for about five to ten minutes. You can already see some of these bits coming off of it and they are actually um, nudibranchs and amphipods and all sorts of critters that are coming off of it. But the idea is we want to strip this colony of all of the bad things living inside of it, which is mainly in this case, the nudibranchs. Now it does take a while for the treatment to actually get into the coral, uh, into all the gaps of the rock. So I do like to give it a bit of a shake. And you can see, just from doing that, all these little nudibranchs coming off of it. So it's quite a heavy infestation. Okay, so it's been around 10 minutes now. Now, you might think this is going to be quite bad for the coral, but zoas are really quite tough and don't mind this kind of treatment. Bear in mind, this is only really recommended for zoas. Other corals may not like this kind of treatment and probably will die from it. But zoa colonies and pali zoa colonies can put up with it quite well. So what I'm going to do now is just dip it in our wash just to get any remaining malachite green off of it. And then I'll put it back into the main display. But look at all these nudibranchs. That's what all these large lumps are. Loads of nudibranchs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this tank now and we'll be hopefully nudibranch free. Now sometimes you'll get some nudibranchs that are living 
on your rock work or you didn't quite kill the first time round. So you may need to repeat this treatment in around a week if you start to see the signs of new ranks coming back, you'll probably find that there were some eggs that you missed or something like that. So you may need to retreat your corals uh, for a second time. But generally, once you've done it once or twice, you will completely get rid of your nudibranch problem. So thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful in getting rid of these nudibranchs from your zoa colonies. If you like this kind of content, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Well, once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.